This chase bay's brake line relocation for BMW E30 is designed for enthusiasts who want to eliminate engine bay clutter, delete ABS, and or compensate for a different master cylinder type. This specific kit is for the OEM two-port master cylinder used on ABS-equipped E30 chassis, and it's all installed in the engine bay. This kit replaces and relocates all of the engine bay hard lines using Dash 3AN stainless steel, Teflon PTFE lined black PVC coated hose. It includes a two-way adjustable proportioning valve to adjust the rear brake bias. We shipped a proportioning valve and our brake line relocations with all fittings pre-tightened and Teflon sealed where needed. We have all the cool tools to do so without scratching any AN fittings, not to mention it makes your job easier. Keep in mind, Teflon sealant is only installed on MPT fittings, not the AN flare. Remove the right bolt from the master cylinder. Install the chase bay's proportioning valve and bracket onto the master cylinder and tighten with a 13mm wrench. Install the banjo and T fitting onto the front of the master cylinder. Use the supplied crush washers between the banjo fitting. This is for the driver and passenger side brake lines. Install the banjo to 90 degree brake line onto the back of the master cylinder. Use the supplied crush washers between the banjo fittings. Attach the 90 degree onto the inside of the proportioning valve. The 90 degree adapter on the proportioning valve should be clocked slightly forward as shown. Install the female to male rear hardline adapter onto the OEM hardline tube nut. Attach the short 90 degree straight line onto the rear hardline adapter then to the outside of the proportioning valve. Attach the short 90 to 90 brake line onto the back side of the T fitting, then the opposing side to the driver's side fender well. Thread in the male to male adapter into the driver's side fender well brake line, then attach the brake line from the previous step. Attach the long 90-90 brake line onto the front side of the T-fitting. Route and secure this line onto the front of the sway bar. Use zip ties or clamps along the way to ensure safe operating. The opposing side will attach to the passenger side fender wheel brake line. Thread in the adapter to the passenger side fender wheel brake line and attach the brake line from the previous step. Go back and check your work to ensure all lines are routed properly and all fittings are tightened. 